I'm Kika Stego, and we're going to try to record more Xenoblade today. Well, I'm not sure how many episodes this will produce. I'm going to try to do random things, maybe progress a little bit, but we'll see how it goes. So, uh, let's get into it. Hmm? No, oh, do I find it? Hello? Hello? <laughs> Crap. Do I not have Nim? I don't. I forgot I needed a thing, a person. I gotta walk part way down now. Everyone, look! That's the Uran Phoenix Village. Quick, let's talk to them. Hey, hey, back up there. If we go empty handed, they won't just. Tell us to get lost like last time. Oh, you're right. We need to get ready with gifts. Okay, then we look for whatever these phoenixes like. You can't get pin fins around here, so it have to be something else. Would you mind having a chat? Stuff we like. Oh, I'd say we have to be... I'd have to say cobalt eel. I don't think you find a single phoenix who ride who can't resist them. You'll understand if you try what I think. I'm... Hmm, Pex, nah, I don't know a phoenix by that name. But there's a phoenix village in the crown of sanctuary. Someone there might have heard something. Okay, we need cobalt deals. The wind is my mate. Come, winds, lend me your transient fleeting aid. Hmm? Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Heart, heart. Can I please activate it? Oh. Outstanding! It thanks to Tora becoming driver that Tora come to this place. Yeah. Blades and drivers most best ever! <laughs> oh, that remind Tora. Rex Rex, Nia, Tora need little consultation. Ah, a consultation with us? Tora have big problem right now. Hmm. Recently, Tora finally realized Tora is... What? Tora is... Tora is not very useful in battle. You're a good distraction. Oh. oh. Why friends silent? Oh. Uh... We're just a bit surprised. I mean, I just never really took you for the self-assessing type. Ah, oh, too cruel. <laughs> uh, I mean, you fight just fine, Tora. Poppy deserve all the credit. She pass weapon and do all the things so Tora can fight like real driver. Tora sometimes think if he remove program of Poppy, Poppy fighting alone would be most efficient. Aww. Seriously? Whoa, you go girl. That why Tora just feel like small furry ball and chain. <laughs> well, uh, I wouldn't go that far. Anyway. Tora wonder if there any point to Tora still being driver. Maybe it better for everyone if Tora retire and assume supervisor duty on sideline. Oh, buddy. Oh, Tora. Nia, what do you think? Well, is the most important thing for a driver, or why did you want to be a driver? What's that's the most some... important thing for a driver? Yeah. Oh, Tora been thinking about that a lot. Love towards Blade is important. Love. <laughs> Not an answer I was expecting. Tora observe and Tora analyze. And Tora note, all drivers have love for their blades. I'm sure to an extent, yeah. Example, Rex Rex love Pyra and Nia <laughs> love Dromark. Yes. I love Pyra. Yes. Rex loves Pyra. <laughs> That Tora feel for Poppy. She's like, yes, I love Dromar. <laughs> but just because Tora have love, not mean Tora can necessarily be driver. Hmm. Yeah, but still. Hang on, Rex. We're getting bogged down here. Can we just straight up ask Poppy and be done with this? That's a great idea. Let's get Poppy here. Hey, Poppy. What would you do if Tora said he wanted to quit being a driver? Poppy probably break down in tears, is what? Oh, honey. Oh, meh, 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 meh. Tora worked to be 
best driver he can. Good. Well, so cute. That was pretty easy. I've just got no patience for this sort of non-problem. <laughs> Tora's angst. Yeah, I, I'd say emotional problems are problems, so... I get it, though, and her opinion is just like, it shouldn't be an issue, you know you're a good person, but... I hope things went well. Mentally, it's hard sometimes. I admit that I got completely sidetracked, but I wanted to end... I'm like, why is this mission taking forever, the surveillance mission for the Shadow Puppets? So I googled it. And you're actually supposed to go to... What I think is this area over here to end the quest. So I know I got insanely sidetracked, but hopefully this will be correct. Wow, world has many or maybe not. I'm an idiot. Ugh, not my lucky day. What's wrong? Oh, nothing much. I only managed to sink my bloody ship. My crew are safe and sound, but my cargo probably lying at the bottom of the cloud sea by now. No, I'm up creek without a paddle. That's awful. The ship is yours. I'm carrying on Monte Cargo, am I right? Ah, oh, you, you're the witch. So my crew said they saw a witch in the distance as the ship was sinking, but I never thought. Oh, no. Screw the plan. I'm getting out of here. Why be mean to her? Ah, oh, wait. A speedo fellow, isn't he? What was that all about? Running away at the slight of someone's face. How rude. Azami, you seem to know about this sunken ship business. Could you enlighten us? But of course, it was all part of my recon mission. So you would also know the reason why it sank. Ah, naturally, because I was the one who sank it. <laughs> You sank it, but why? Oh, come on. It's not such a big deal. They were behaving so openly suspicious, clearly shipping cargo of a dubious nature. Sinking their ship seemed the sensible course of action, but I put an end to their mischief and lightened my workload. Even so, that seems to be going a little overboard. I was lonely. Can you blame me? Lonely? You sunk their ship because you were lonely? Now, don't give me that. You know I'm just dying to be with my beloved driver. Can you try to see things from my perspective? Besides, I never wanted to be doing recon in the first place. There should have been someone to keep me company. I get lonely very easily, you know. Still. Actually, I can sort of see where she's going from. Maybe we could accompany her on the, her mission. Oh, my darling driver will join me. Then I'll be a good girl from now on. I'll do as I'm told. Morag, what do you want to do? Hmm, well, I'd rather this than have her running out of control. So you'll join me? Oh, this is perfect. All right, I'll have to get straight back to surveillance duty. Off we go to the great below hole. Oh. Okay. Yeah, let's deal with this before we do the Phoenix thing. I know, we're kind of ADHD and all around, but I apologize. All of you, come on. We haven't got all day to spend on this. Azami seemed very excited for such simple mission. Now I'm sure she's just glad to have all her friends on board. I think so too. <laughs> Everything is more fun when you can do it with those you care about, right? Yeah, definitely. Still, you did the surveillance from here. Yes, that's right. There couldn't be a better place for it. But there's practically nothing around here. Seems like an odd choice. <laughs> Just watch. I'll survey the area now. Okay. Oh. 
Oh. So she has like a vision thing? Two men over in this direction, picking flowers, working with an almost tireless determination. And there's another, some kind of scientist he's holed up in his room. A zombie seen that far away? That crazy talk! Even with telescope lens of Poppy, Tora still not see that far. You've been using your powers to track those three guys this whole time. Four guys. Four? Yes. Originally, I had my eye on four suspicious individuals. Hmm. But one of them recently, shall we say, saw reason. And now there are three. The one of them die. What exactly is it that they're doing? It's difficult to tell, just watching from afar. All I can say right now is that they're making some substance from the flowers and then shipping it out of the country. Drugs. Hmm. I wonder what they're trying to do. Drugs. You can't identify the genus of flower? Pro drugs. Sorry, <laughs> I'm not I couldn't tell you. I don't know much about botany. Who's their botanist? <laughs> Draw mark. Why don't we go up and ask them ourselves? I'm sure they'd answer to a crazy doll lady. Three of them. Yes, all three. If we put the squeeze on them, I'm sure they'll be happy to tell us what flowers they're picking and why. Hmm. Hmm. Not sure about this. I've grown so tired of all this watching and waiting. I imagine. They've been doing it for like two days. We have some fun with my cutie pie driver. <laughs> Come on, let's go introduce ourselves. Is Rex the only one allowed to get her? <laughs> or is this just like, she could be Nia's and be like, ah, she's a cutie. You know what I mean? Go to the land adjacent to Coraline's sanctum in Uriah. Okay. Let us face the day with a renewed vigor. Uh, excuse me, can we ask you something? Hello? Wouldn't you mind telling us why you were so intent on picking all these flowers? What's it to you? You're tired of life or something? I don't believe they intend on being entirely open with us. Eh, looks like we had just had to beat it out of them, won't we? Okay. If they beat them up. Fight, they shall get one. Smoke. Now then, care to tell us what the deal is with these flowers you've been picking? Hmm. Giving the silent treatment army, you must really enjoy pain. Leave him be, Azami. He won't talk. Then what do you propose? What about these wooden crates? Let's have a look in there. Where yeah, they seem to have been putting all the flowers. Maybe find out what's going on here if we examine the flowers themselves. Now then, what's in these boxes? Come on. Oh. Heals an aching soul. Ho, 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 ho. My god. Give me a second. I need two more botany levels. Let me see what I can do. The eye of shining justice is throbbing. Bye. Oh yeah. Just googling things, trying to figure out what I'm doing wrong, and I'm got a person. Um, hi. Hmm. I'm intrigued. 
Well, I guess Seek gets to deal with you now. <laughs> we'll be great together, I do declare. Strange. But I mean, he has somebody, so good for him. <laughs> Does she happen to have... Nope, just Ice Bastard. Looking forward to it. There you go, country girl. Country ice girl. We finally got somebody. Hopefully he can get, uh... What's her name? The electric girl, too. I would be very happy. Take gotcha pity on me. Nah. Okay, so I am convinced I am never going to be allowed to open this chest. So we will get back to this in a future episode, probably, because I don't, I don't, I just don't have enough of the points. So I guess we're doing this a different day. Hey, Morag, do you know if there's a good a place around here with a good view of the whole town? A good view of Alba Kvalach? Hmm. As I recall, you can see a great vista from Hardegay Palace, like a second wing area, Gra Grain, for instance. That sounds awesome. Do you think you could show me up there? Dream anything good? <laughs> okay, what was that about? Let's when did go. it get so late? Oh, no. Are you not hungry yet? <laughs> that was okay, strong. let's see if we can grab that freaking kid. So I don't remember what it needs. But we have enough people now, and a lot of them are leveled up, we might be able to grab them. Hey, me, go away, me. Leave Napon to Poppy. Think about it objectively. Very well. Hmm. Yes, I see. Fa la la. <laughs> Falala is very sad because her son went missing. Will you at least meet with her? At worst, you'll get to enjoy that famous food and singing you heard all about. Oh, that's right then. Salala will do it. Dala is red-blooded Napon of Iraya Kingdom. Salala will meet and explain that it's not Sunny Pawn of Falala. Maybe even try to comfort a little. Thanks. But only going because of famous food and singing, really. Other stuff just extra. <laughs> okay, buddy. So Falala cannot believe that you alive. You are Miss Falala. Falala is not your sunny pawn. He is not pawn for Kingdom of Araya. What are you saying, you are Falala's beloved sunny pawn, Solala? Let Tora explain. Memories of Solala all gone, washed away by Cloud Sea. How? How can Falala make you remember? Food. You always ate Falala spicy strawloo when you were little pawn. Here are some falala made just now. Munch. Do you remember th th this taste? It's too delicious. Cooking of salala mama pan was too a uh, more, lot more dubious tasting. Me me me, falala did t too much cooking and got too good. In that case, may maybe you remember song falala sang to you as little pan. Oh la 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 la. Do you remember? No, song from Salala memory was much more off key. You are not Salala's mama pan. Me, 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 what is Salala saying? Falala became good singer for nothing. Oh, song did not work. Cooking did not work. What did Falala do? Friend is okay. Salala is red blooded napon from Kingdom of Uriya. Not greedy, stingy napon from Argentium. And Salala mama pan, not this good singing, talented foodie maker napon. Me, me, me. Falala tried so hard to become good singer. Falala gathered ingredients to make spicy stralu. Falala listened out to where clue of Salala whereabouts. Salala cared not with, with all nothing to have to do with Salala. Ugh. Okay, did she assault him? Yeah. Me, me, me. Are you alright? Miss Salala is bad not pawn. Must not be Falala's sunny pawn after all. Grah! The, 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 that below. Look powerful, but done with paw pads, so not really hurt. 
my 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 pawn. Beating up your kid. That's how he remembers. You remember us, Salala. Salala remember. So sorry, Mama Pan. Salala went fishing in Cloud Sea and fell in, then drifted very far. Mama Pan, it was so scary. It's okay now, Sunny Pan. Mama Pan is here. Proper move, Diane. <laughs> There's something in my eyes. Let's have yourselves a wee celebration. Bring out the spicy strawberry. Sing for us, Falala. Yeah, great idea. Thank you, friends. Thanks to you, Salala came home. Falala does not have the words to express gratitude. Everything will okay now. Falala is sorry for all the requests. Please stop by to enjoy song and food anytime. Special price for friends who help me out. Fame and family finally complete. That one was sitting around for a while. Mama Pond have good singing voice now and meals all scrummy dummy. Nothing like how it used to be. You okay? Ah, uh, it's no problem at all. Maybe in long run it was a good thing that's a lot of loose memory. Big thanks to friends. There you go. Oh, there's a hard heart. Hey, Bridget. I found something interesting in that shop over there. Interesting? Yep. Here it is. What is that thing? It looks quite grotesque. <laughs> Why, that's an Argentum monkfish. You are familiar with this creature, Lady Mora? It's a rare delicacy that is only found in the waters around here. It's rather tasty. People eat this monstrous fish thing. <laughs> it might not look appetizing, but I've heard the taste is divine. Since it's so rare, I thought I'd cook something up with it. But I'm not sure how. Morag. Do you know? Do tell, please. Very well, I'll do it. I'm assuming she knows how to cook. She seems like a woman who would know how to Lady cook. Lady Morag, if I may, is this really wise? <laughs> Maybe she doesn't know how to cook. Oh, don't you worry yourself. Shall we start by gutting the fish then? Excuse me? What's the matter? Got it. Got this creature. Yes, honey. That's how you cook. Well, yes. We can't exactly cook it like that. <clears throat> Understood. Life is a battlefield. Let us commence. Oh, Morag. So who's boss, Lady Morag? <clears throat> Bridget? Yes? Please hold down its head. <laughs> what, do you think it's going to flop away? I, uh, that is, I'd rather not touch it. <laughs> it's just a little tricky to make the incision when it keeps staring at me. C quite true, but uh, for the love of the architect, do it. Please, please cover its eyes for me. Yes. Me. Though Your fish get the best of us. I cannot look anything in the face and cut it up. Give me the the, the give me the segments pre beheaded ah! or post beheaded. <laughs> Bridget, calm down. What's wrong? It it looked me in the eye. Is this thing still alive? Can it be? Then I must end <laughs> it before it strikes. <laughs> it's opening its foul maw. Oh my god. The enemy means to eat us. Quickly, the finishing blow. Very well. Pirate. <laughs> Pirate just sit there like, oh, these two. No, wait. If you do that, the food will be... Oh, burnt to a crisp. Well, Bridget, as befits the flame bringer, the foe is extinguished without a trace. I love these two. <laughs> Our mission here is done. What do you think you're doing? There's nothing left for us to eat. Oh, guys. <laughs> Morag, the shift complete. Oh, that was worth it. Oh, my God, yes. I got a divine core crystal. Much thanks. Very well. I hence innovative new courier style of sorcery involving no movement and no risk to lose or break. Sensori is genius, though. Such out-of-the-box thinking is proof that Sensori leveled up its courier. Maybe 
bother, hurry, scurry, interest in the learnings of Sususuri. Please not forget rate at least four and a half stars. Okay, buddy. Um, can we can we have a uh, Zeke unlock this blade? There you go, buddy. Let's let's see what you got. I feel like he's some from something. He's a tank. Okay. Okay. Um, who are you? You're cute. Girls. <laughs> yes, Rex. Wait. But who? Some nice core crystals you got there, drivers. Hand them over and nobody has to get hurt. It's hmm. for your own good. Looks like we found the core crystal hunters we were after. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you have heard of us. Come on now, hand over the crystals. Shall we, Praxis? But of course, dear theory. Mmm, praxis and theory. Okay. I saw those names on the list. So let's get them. As Go you for wish. It. Okay. Had too much already? Ha! You're not half bad. Hey! What are you doing over there? Praxis, it's Imperial soldiers. Hmm, come on, time to go, Theory. Yeah. Wait! Don't move! I'm sorry, it seems I caused too much of a disturbance. Ah! Special Inquisitor Morag! My sincerest apologies. But what brings you here? We were, as it happens, in battle with the core crystal hunters terrorizing the area. Hmm. Ah, we've heard rumors. Indeed. The culprits whom we were fighting were two blades. It's likely that they'll have others conspiring with them, drivers included. We'd certainly appreciate the army's assistance in this matter. But could I first ask you to report the details to your superior? Absolutely, Inquisitor. All right. Shall we head over to Torigoth Relay Base? I guess. Sure. Why not? Doing side quests. <laughs> <laughs> it's Padraig. I got demoted for letting Torna get away. And now, now I'm back to the old garrison patrol. All right. But I've got to say, it's a fair sight better than being bossed around by a lousy boss. My salary took a hefty blow, but it really gets, suits me just fine. I can get by. Okay, good for you, buddy. Okay, what's up? Inunus. Two blades. Yes, that cooperates with what we've heard. 
How much does the Department of Safety know? Honestly, not a lot. We know their names are practice and theory, and that's about it. We're on a manhunt for them and their drivers, but we don't have much to go on. So far, no one even seen what they look like. I see. I've heard there's similar incidents happening in other countries. Might they be related, do you think? It's highly probable. We've got similar disturbances in Gormont lately, and those two blades were sighted there, too. The problem is we lost so many of our men to them already. If you already got the military on the case, can't you just send out a bigger party to get them? I'm afraid the capital's standing on army aren't going to mobilize just for two rogue blades. H having said that, the Department of Safety don't have the capacity to deal with a large-scale operations like this. But we can't just let them run rampant. If we were to try and apprehend these criminals, would you assist us? You would help us? But of course, having the Special Inquisitors' assistance in the matter would be most reassuring. That's all well and good, but how exactly are we supposed to catch them? So what now? Are we wondering about the town ca carrying core crystals around in plain sight? But they're being cautious now, but parade a hundred crystals under their noses, I bet that'll change. Yeah, but we probably should expect to go up against those two and come out of this unscathed. Oh, there's a reason we should play ourselves straight into their hands. What's your plan, Morag? Rather than waiting for them to appear, we should lure them into the situation that would be advantageous for us. With the Department of Safety on our side, we should be able to assemble a decent number of troops. With to divide their attention between us and the second unit, keeping them apart will minimize casualties. How will you get them to split up, though? By spreading rumors. Rumors. We'll spread rumors that the two deals involved smuggling core crystals are going down to separate locations. If we calculate the secret to enough merchants in the area, then the culprits will take the bait. We can use the mark group to spread the rumors with our enemies catching on. It'll still be pretty... <laughs> it'll still be pretty tough dealing with one of them alone. I know we'll be fine, but will the others be able to handle them? These are not versed enough to battle can be supported by the Merc Group when we set our plan into motion. <clears throat> Would the Department of Safety be okay with this? Indeed, we're fully on board with you. We'll start organizing a capture squad immediately. Good, then let's commence the operation. Okay, we got a new Merc mission and more ordain. We got nine minutes for cooking display to end, so we might as well finish that. Hey, come on, give me a break. We're selling our stuff cheap as it can be. The ordaining factory stuff's right over the odds. Our water supplies off, what are they going to fix that ruddy water tower? How am I supposed to raise my leaks without water? I wish these smart arse ordanians had the answer to that. Something bothering, friend? Go over over here. So does us ordain smashed up the water tower. The people who did that are. Those drivers over there, if you want to complain, complain to those bastards. Mimi? What? You're the one who smashed up our lovely water tower. Thanks to your little demolition job, I've got a lug of water by hand in my fields. It's doing my back end. I think I'll take my mind off by giving your arses a little kick. Just a little kick? I'd be kicking harder. That's like straight up manual labor you're giving him. Yeah, let's do this while we're waiting. Okay, bring it on. You put us. Persuade Griff and the others outside to all three to the base. Guys, friend is okay. So here's the thing. So you had to break the water tower to get away from the Ordanian soldiers. It's sort of their fault then, really. I can't really blame you a lot for something you did when you were cornered. Sorry. Ah, uh, nothing changes, does it? These mighty forces do what they like, and us little fellows pay the price. Hey, aren't you the ones who brought the Melizoonian honey earlier? Yeah. My daughter's not much of an appetite, but she can't resist the Ruska cookies with a bit of Malozzi and honey. I suppose I can let you off that angry bargey with the water tower for bringing us that. Thanks. But next time you're talking on an Ordanian bunch, try and spare a thought for the rest of us, yeah? Well, that turned out nice. Tetapan Tora is here. Tetapan said he got a letter for Tora? That's right. Very strange letter, man. No name of Cinder. Shady, shady. Letter inside even more shady. Look. Hmm. Dear Tora, 
Handwriting so terrible that Tora lost interest in reading. Whoever wrote this definitely a few up on uh, Dubloon short of hoard, but Tatuzo advised read on. Okay, data pon. Dear Tora, gather following data of blades. And input into Poppy. Tora guess that mean Poppy. And you go to Bulge Harbor. Tora think it's a Bulge Harbor. <laughs> anyway, in Morordain. Well, that's definitely mysterious. Do you have any idea who might be from Tora? No sender, perhaps a friend? Tora have no friends with such sloppy handwriting. Must be someone Tora knew. They know all about Tora and Poopy. Poppy. As the pawn is interested in who it is, of course Tora interested. Well then, why don't we just try doing what the letter says? Really? Is that okay? Of course, Tora. I'm sure gathering the blade data it mentions will be no trouble if we pitch in. It would make any promises until I hear what the extent of our task is. Huh. Okay, Tora will ensure more terrible handwriting to read details to friends from plain ether cannon using girl blade data on Bream Barrage Special. From plain knuckle claw using boy blade data on Assault Rush Special. From plain twin rings using doggy blade data on Dual Fang Special. From plain great axe using boy blade data on axe throwing special. From Plain shield hammer using girl blade data on aerial shield special. From plain pit ball using girl blade data on flash bomb special. From plain mega lance using giant blade data on beam halberd special. From plain. Okay, yeah, a bunch of specials on the. Pl we need all eight pieces of data. Who tall order. But Rex Rex promised. Ugh. Okay, fine, we'll do a piece of cake. Yay, Rex Rex hero among men men. Don't worry, Rex. The rest of us shall lend our assistance. Morag is also hero among men men. With friends helping, Tash should be easy peasy lemon squeezy. Among whom? Ah, right then. Shall we get gathering? When we're done, we have to head to Bulge Harbor, right? That's what letters say. Tash is many, so Tora divvy them up into smaller bunches. We do in order. Okay, Dadapon, we get going. Don't know what kind of strange Napon wait at the end of quest, so must be careful. I wonder if it's the Grampy. Grampy Pon? But he's dead. I don't know. Yeah, let's do this one. This seems important. Maybe this is how you get Poppy Pie. Poppy Cutie Pie. Here I am. Hello. Work. I think I have enough. We should be able to knock these out relatively quickly. Hopefully. Maybe we get Cutie Pie out of it. Okay. Well, I should be able to get the first two pretty easily. Okay. Another one down. I'm probably actually gonna... Could do this, this tomorrow, because it's getting pretty late. So, see you then. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and come join me again. Bye! <laughs>